Hello, I'm Ben Thompson. Today we're going to be outside today talking about uh, some more ways to be self-sustainable. And today's topic is going to be edible wild foods. Now, God has created so many different plants and we only use a very small percentage for food. But there's a far bigger percentage that we are actually able to eat. The reason why it doesn't become uh, became part of our normal diet is because it's harder to grow in some situations or one reason for another it wasn't uh, easily mass produced. And with um, our economic hardship coming, uh, having these uh, skills to recognize certain things will greatly benefit us. So let's go ahead and get started looking for the uh, plant that we're going to find today, which is called uh, high mallow. Now this is a high mallow plant, rather small. Uh, so there's some bigger ones over here. Let's see if I can get in close there. bigger ones over there and in fact they grow all over the area and you, you probably think of them as an, an obnoxious weed and they, they, they certainly are a weed now let's take a, a good look at this plant they have this circular shaped leaf and they can grow I see them get to be six feet tall if um, if you let them grow. Now, some other characteristics are is that they have these these thick stalks, and they also have usually it's usually purple flowers. I don't see any flowers here today, but um, this is. There, there's two reasons why I wanted to start with this plant. Number one is because it grows all over the area. And number two, if you are living in a small area where you cannot have a, a vegetable garden, which is of course a good idea, but if you can't get anything grown because you lack sun or you don't have enough space, I want you to grow this plant known as mallow or high mallow. Not only does it, it practically takes care of itself uh, once it's get rooted, but once it gets rooted, you can't get rid of it basically. It's an extremely difficult plant to get rid of. I know my family. My family house has a, a space and sunlight problem and the answer I came up with was to, to grow this mallow. And once it took root, we let it, we let it grow for a year. Now it's per there permanently basically and my family uses it all the time. And whenever it, we run out of leaves we just cut, down, cut off the, the bottom and it grows back up. It's an extremely resilient plant. Now, don't ever eat uh, any plant outside unless you know for sure what it is and that it's edible. And, um, I just picked a leaf here. This is a mallow, and uh, to prove that this is an edible one, I know I know for a fact that mallow is edible. Let's see here, I'm going to show you that it is by eating it myself. You can eat this raw, you can 
cut it up and and, uh, and uh, put it in a cast iron skillet and cook it with other vegetables. There. It's a very mild taste. Pretty good, I think, in my opinion. So, that was High Mallow. And, um, you can look for it around town anywhere. Wherever there's an open spot, you will probably find Mallow. And if you are having trouble, um, getting stuff to grow in your backyard, or in your front yard, you can get mallow. So uh, thank you for taking this time to, to watch this short video on how to be more self-sustainable. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, so you can continue to get access to this information easily. And we will continue to, to bring you more news on how to be more self-sustainable within this uh, community and, and individually. Thank you, and have a good day.